everyone. Today is day two of the school year and as I said yesterday it went really well. I'm very excited. Right now it's first thing in the morning and I'm about to go make some copies. Um, I gotta get things ready for spelling because I need to do some pre-assessments. Oh, I need to run off my math pre-assessment. So that's what I'm doing right now, pulling things together. Because even though today is still going to be all about community building, where's my math book? I'm still, I still need to start getting some of the, the tests out of the way so I can start to figure out where my children are. And, all right, where's the assessments book? Um, aha, is this it? No. Okay, I cannot find what I need. So, but yeah, so just trying to get some organization done, get some things run off, and aha, assessments handbook. So I went off my pretest then this, and I'm also running off some handwriting. Uh, I've noticed a lot of my kids are not doing cursive, and I'm old school, I'm sorry, I believe in cursive. So we're gonna run off some handwriting sheets, spelling pretest, math pretest, so lot to do. So I'm in the copy room getting my copies made and wow I feel sorry for the teachers who are in the main building. In the portables we have air conditioning and a couple of the rooms in the main building have air conditioning. For the most part this building is an unair conditioned building and today is going to be like 99 degrees. It is hot in here. And the air is so thick I swear you could you could cut the air with a knife. So but at least I like to be in here for a short period of time to get my copies made and then I'll be in my portable for the rest of the day with my air conditioner. So I'm definitely one of the lucky ones. So I'm just about finished in here. Just got to run off some cursive and we're good. I'm very excited to share our first purchases that arrived from Donors Choose. Our very first issue of Time for Kids came in today and so it's all about the Olympic glory and um, we will definitely be using this probably probably even today, this afternoon, if we have a little time. I might fit it in or I might save it for next week when I can work it into the lesson plans. And of course it comes with a teacher's guide. So thank you for the people who donated for this one. If you remember, I said that once I bought alternative furniture, there was a little extra money left over. So with that money, I purchased a Kindle Fire for use in the classroom. A bunch of black fine tip expo markers, rainbow color expo markers, because you would be amazed how fast we go through these. Also still to come, I'm still waiting for my 36 brand new individual whiteboards to arrive because my old whiteboards, oh, they are so beat up and chewed up and broken and so yeah, that's not good. And then also a shout out to Bridget at the Lettered Classroom. She has talked repeatedly about this book. I have not read it yet. It just arrived. Um, with one of them, I had like $13 left to spend. And I think this book was like 12 So I grabbed a copy of Each Kindness. And I'm looking forward to reading it and sharing it with my class. So yeah, shout out to Bridget for the book recommendation. Because as I said before, this whole week of school is about community building and building that strong foundation and relationship between myself, the children, the, between the children themselves and all of that stuff. So yes, also this morning I will be implementing our new policy as we enter the classroom. Hug or handshake? Which one do you want? Because I really, really, really want to build that strong bond with the kids. I didn't do that yesterday because they didn't know me and getting a hug or sometimes even a handshake from a stranger can seem weird. But today they know me so walking in the room they get to choose. Do you want a shake or do you want a hug? So with that I'm going to get off here because I am running out of time and I've kind of made a mess. I do that. In the process of organizing things I tend to disorganize things. So yeah, I got to clean up. I just wanted to say how excited I am to get my first Kindle for my classroom. There is an app called Duolingo, which I actually have Duolingo installed on my phone because I've been practicing Italian. Uh, my husband and I, one of our like 
bucket list items is to go and spend like three weeks in Italy and do Venice and Rome and Tuscany and so I just gotta put Duolingo on my phone it's a free app it works a lot like Rosetta Stone but Rosetta Stone is extremely expensive Duolingo is free and it's a great program and it's very easy very user-friendly well it turns out you can put Duolingo on a Kindle so I'm really excited to get this because I have five students in my classroom three of whom just came from Yemen like last week and they don't speak a word of English they, they learned the word bathroom yesterday that was like their first English word that they learned was bathroom so you know, those children it's very hard to teach children who have no English so instead of just having them sit in this classroom twiddling their thumbs for you know I will have them partnered with children who speak both languages to help them for math and stuff but I want to get more Kendall's because this way I bought headphones last year at the end of the school year last year we were told by our office that we could spend a hundred dollars each for an order and I used that money to buy earbuds just cheap ones from school specialty I think they were like two ninety nine a pair but I got a whole class set of earbuds so this way the children don't have to share because they get really grossed out by the earwax so that's what I've got coming I should be getting those earbuds any day and now this is my first Kindle I bought for the classroom but I went to high school with a dear friend named Michelle I'll call her Michelle S and so most some of the followers will know who she is she's raising a wonderful son named Max and Maxwell was saving money to donate to charity well he decided to donate his money to my classroom and one second I have a knock at the door hello lunchtime sorry I didn't get to finish what I was talking about this morning I had um one of my teachers my special ed teacher walked in to discuss couple of kids in my room and right now I'm trying to clean off my table for lunch it is hot guys outside I am not kidding the heat index today is like 100 degrees the air is thick it's muggy it is awful outside so I already know when I pick up my kids from lunch recess they're all gonna be like just dying <laughs> they're all gonna want like a gallon of water and to just throw water on their face because it is hot it is really hot and I don't know about the rest of you guys, but I'm so over the summer. I really am. I, it's, I know I'm a teacher. I should love summer vacation. Guys, summer is like my least favorite season. I'll take winter over summer any day because I can always add a layer. So with that, I'm just trying to tidy up the table so we can have lunch in here. And I don't even remember what I was talking about this morning. Um, oh, I really can't remember what I was talking about this morning. So I'll have to go back and rewatch the video and <laughs> remind myself so I can finish the conversation. We started reading the illustrated Harry Potter book today. Um, I got that book last Christmas for a birthday present and so you know it became I became really clear to me yesterday that a lot of my students, you know, they're too young to really remember Harry Potter because the movies came out long before you know they were even born. So a lot of my students are not familiar with Harry Potter. So we started reading this today, the Illustrated Sorcerer's Stone. My dad bought this for me for a Christmas present. Um, yeah, I love it. And so I read it already with Casey at home. And the pictures do add to the story, it really does. So we started that in here. Today has been a crazy day because every time we get started in something, somebody comes in the room. You know, custodians come into the room to take out the trash. Uh, other people come in to bring in my tables. I have tables, no chairs. So I'm not even going to put the tables out yet. Just not even going to. Uh, people come to deliver composition books and other things. So today has been a day of a thousand and one interruptions. And the kids are getting really, really antsy. In fact, we even had to stop and we just practiced our rules. We practiced lining up. We practiced walking around. We practiced just sitting in our seats. And we talked about what does a classroom look like, and if Mr. If my principal were to walk in, what should he see? So yeah, we actually had to stop because there's just too many interruptions, and they were just getting too wound up. So with that though, I'm going to eat my lunch because I am starving. <laughs> I am starving. So yeah, talk to you soon. 
so I remember what I was talking about this morning before I was interrupted. Excuse me. I needed that. <clears throat> really hot. <laughs> um, this morning I was talking about my friend Michelle from high school, and we keep in touch through Facebook, and her son Max who she's raising to be an awesome young man. And so Max has been collecting money for a while to give to a charity or to donate to something he thought was worthwhile. And so Michelle has shared my YouTube videos with Max and Max decided to donate his money to my classroom. And I was really, really touched by that. So Max, I'm giving you a big shout out. Uh, Max and his mom sent me a check for $129, which was really generous, considering you know, this is coming from a child, you know, and he's giving this to strangers. So I was, I was really touched and impressed by what a fine young man he is. And so I was able to get a Kindle Fire from my Donors Choose order, because remember I had a little money left over. So Max, with your money, I'm actually going to use that to buy three more Kindles for my classroom because we don't have iPads or tablets of any kind. And this year, I have five children new to the country who don't speak English. Excuse me, they all speak Yemen. Um, Hamtramck, we're getting an influx of refugees because they're fleeing Yemen, and there's a lot of Yemen people in Hamtramck already that have been here for decades. So what's happening is the family members who were still back in the old country are now coming because of the, the strife going on in Yemen right now. So we are suddenly getting many, many, many children who are coming here with not a single word of English. And so to have those children just sit in the room all day twiddling their thumbs and they can't understand what I'm saying is quite useless. So there's this great app called Duolingo and it's a lot like Rosetta Stone but it's free and so you can learn English on Duolingo. So I just got my earbuds from the office. I ordered 32 earbuds and so if I can get like four to five Kindles in the room I can put the Duolingo app on the Kindle and hook these little ones up and let them start learning basic English words and just help them move that language development along. So this way they're learning English but it feels like a game. It's fun. So Max, that's what your money's going to be going for. It's going to be adding Kindles to my classroom and you're going to be helping to teach English to children who don't know a word and who are actually quite nervous and afraid to be here because they're just they're overwhelmed by everything that's new and different to them. So, thank you very much, Max. Hi guys, again. So, it is late. It is currently like 20 after 5. Um, I stayed late today. Wednesday is usually the day of the week that I'll stay late to get things done. So, I've been trying to get desk plates made because I'm finding I'm going to have to assign seating. Uh, I've got some people in this room who are really, 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 really chummy. <laughs> and so there's a lot of talking going on. It's a chatty group, which I understand. They're fourth graders. They're going to chat. But at the same time, we still have to make sure the work is getting done. And right now, I'm finding that the talking today was a little too much. Of course, it doesn't help that I'm up to 32 children in my classroom. Yes, 32. And I still have two more on the roster who have yet to show up. So there's a high probability I will be up to 34 kids tomorrow, which makes for a lot of bodies in the room. So, yeah, that's, that's part of it. Um, they're sweet kids, though. They really are. They're very sweet kids. There's really no children in this room that I would say, wow, that's just a mean kid. None of them are mean, so I'm very grateful for that. Um, there's just a lot of them. So I was staying late though because I was trying to, you know, get the desk things made out with their names on them. I was taking care of some business and some paperwork that needed to be done. I was pulling out the math materials because tomorrow I want to have our first real math lesson from the actual teacher's manual with the supplemental materials that I'm going to use 
And then I, meant, I wanted to get my cafe menu up on my wall today. Unfortunately, I kind of didn't get that done. Although, I guess I could probably get the letters up right now. So, because I, I didn't want to put these up until I verified that we actually had the matching butcher paper in the in the building. We do. So, you know what? I guess I'll go ahead and get those up right there. Um, I'm not worried about changing trim. I know I bought trim to change the trim. But, you know, I think it might just be too late to worry about changing trims. Because the year is in full swing and I got bigger fish to fry. Don't, no time for decorating anymore. So that's everything I've been doing right now. I was also trying to clear out my nook. Um, it's an adjustment not having a desk because the drawers don't hold nearly as much. So I'm trying to like clean this because I kind of like this a wall of stuff. And it's a little overwhelming, but I'm getting used to it. I am getting used to it. And I do like having the table here, although at the moment my table is clearly a hot mess. So hopefully that won't be a mess tomorrow. I'm also trying to put together my pensive. I finally got all of my DRA2 scores in. A big shout out to Miss Roble. Thank you. She was able to pull the kids one on one and get me some DRA2 scores. So I have a starting point to get busy with the daily five because I just I have so many children in here it was hard to you know even think of testing them one at a time and I also have seven children this year with zero English I know I said earlier today that I had five I'm up to seven seven kids with no English or we're talking minimal English you know they, they know their name they know yes no bathroom <laughs> lunch the, this is like the English that we're talking about here. So that's been a challenge too. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to have to make a greater effort to make sure that every zero English child is sitting with a translator. But I'm not even sure I have enough to partner them one-on-one. -on -one. I may have to partner like one translator to two zero English children because not all of my students in this room speak Arabic. Um, a lot of them are also from Bangladesh and from Bosnia. So I have a variety of languages in the room, but all seven of my zero English are Arabic speaking, Yemen. So that's presenting a challenge because I don't know if I have enough translators for everyone to get one child to one translator. So yeah, that's, that's a little bit of an issue going on too. We will work it out though. We will work it out. I've had classrooms in the past with this many zero English and it's complicated it definitely makes things more complicated but it's totally doable you partner them up with translators and you just kind of let the partnerships work together for a while initially there will be a lot of copying uh, I will be putting them on laptops or hopefully I can get the Kindles or some iPads through Donor Choose really really fast and this way I can get them onto you know Raz Kids and Duolingo and other programs to start just just hitting them with you know English words and English pictures you know so they can just start to get all that vocabulary because I mean think about it you're going to a brand new country a brand new school and you don't speak the language. I mean, they're scared, these little guys. They're really, really scared. So hopefully I can get some Kindles in here really fast or maybe even some iPads to get some good apps going and just get them hooked up and get some basic vocabulary in them. So I'm going to actually wrap up the video for today and because I do need to go home, I'm probably going to try to actually get a Donors Choose project up tonight so I can try to get more Kindles or tablets or something because, yeah, the technology is desperately needed. Because I have 32 kids in here, I only have 28 working laptops. And even on the 28 working laptops, like four of them are iffy. So, yeah, that's what I'll be doing tonight. And that was thunder. The thunder's been rumbling for a while. Um, unfortunately, the storm's not going to break the heat. If anything, it's just going to add to the humidity and the overall thickness of the air. And so I'm going to try to get my pensive put together today before I go home and get my everything going in here. I've got it all cleaned out from last year. Oh, no, actually, I missed a couple pages. I'll have to get those tore out. So I need to get the names in there and get the forms printed from the cafe menu book, the CD-ROM, and get that all put together. And tomorrow, 
we start daily five. I wanted to start it today, but honestly, I kept having so many new kids walk in the room. It was kind of really hard to get anything up and running today. So we really did focus on building that classroom community again, and then trying to, you know, get people talking to the new children so that they wouldn't be afraid and making like a buddy system so you know, you'll follow this one to lunch and you'll so that's kind of what happened a lot today so tomorrow math really starts tomorrow daily five really starts hopefully <laughs>